Hi, this is Cynthia Ortiz, and it's Sunday, um, October 10, 2021. These are the Charles Perry Stalker Podcast. And, of course, he's pestering, bothering, trying to plan something, didn't go right again today. It has been like that forever. And he thinks he's going to get a date. He's delusional. Never going to happen. So it is 6.02 right now. He th- I think he thinks peeping is a date. I think he thinks causing a problem is a date. And um, he's done that for 10 years, and none of us can figure out why the hell he thinks that. Uh, it's like, w- what the fuck planet do you fucking live on? It's not a date when you peep and get up every day and cause a problem. And the way that you get a woman to like you is you do things women like. Women don't like losing their car. Women don't like being peeped on or hacked. Women don't like you getting up every day trying to cause a problem. We don't like being false arrested. We don't like being almost killed more than once. We don't like it when you kill a cop who's trying to help us. We don't like it when you maybe kill a judge. We don't like it when you hurt people. We certainly don't like it when you take our money. Especially out of bank accounts you shouldn't know anything about. So... Not how you get a date with a woman. And Perry types in my phone, you want to go get wine? Let's talk. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll be right over. So you can put what in my wine this time? Arsenic, strychnine, phenobarbital. Yeah, I'll be right over. I mean, please, remember who it is you're talking to. There's never going to be a date. Write it down. There will never be a date. I'm not going to talk to you. I've said no. So what they did today is I was supposed to go eat lunch at Zio's and I didn't go and I messed up their whole plan again today. And Perry's typing in my phone. I win the CJ case. I win the CJ case. I win the CJ case. And I'm like, gold star for you. We get it. You made your point. We get it. Except you didn't, Mr. Perry. You're about to go to jail for that, what you did in that CJ case. Why do you keep saying the same thing again and again? I've responded to your taunting more than once. You didn't win a damn thing. I wasn't in that courtroom. There was nothing fair about it. There was nothing legal about it. You went into a courtroom and you lied again. And you've got six of those cases. Please write it down because we are getting so tired of your slow and the repeat. We have to say the same thing over and over and over and over and you are not getting it. Since the McNamara email of 2015, sir, you've been recorded committing a crime or planning a crime every single day since, including today. That's why I didn't go to Zio's. Write it down. It happened yesterday, the day before that, the day before that. Over and over and over, you're caught, bitch. There's no date. You're just caught. Write it down. You're very slow. It's very irritating. There's all this, Mr. Perry. You went into court and you said, Judge, you don't have jurisdiction over me. I'm not doing anything in Oklahoma. And I wasn't there to show my evidence or tell my side of the story, which a lot of it's here. Mr. Perry, please review this again before you open your mouth and make a fucking idiot out of yourself. You've said, I went, you know, I win the CJ case. What is it you think I'm going to do when you say that? I win the CJ case. I win the CJ case. I win. I win. I, I win. I, I can see you. I, I'm a peeping dog. I can see you. I, I, I snow. I. That's what I hear when you talk and nothing more. Not some big hunk of sexy, is it? You embarrass the ever living hell out of me because you're stupid. You didn't win anything. You lied. The judge did. She chose to be ignorant on fact. Because the judge should have said, you don't get an ex parte hearing. We need Ms. Ortiz here to give her side of the story and show me her evidence. She's the one that filed the lawsuit. The burden of proof is on her. So she needs to be here. And she didn't do that, did she? So, then when I said, I'm going to file a 10, a 12-10-31... Just by putting it in my calendar, a tentative date, and you guys pick up the phone and you call her. Your Honor, oh my gosh, she's going to file a 12 31 And her response to that was, I guess I'm going to have to do better than, because it's frowned upon as a reason to deny. She knew she really doesn't have any basis for the ruling she made, doesn't she? Judge Linda Morrissey. 
How much did you pay her? Listen, you write it down, you're caught. Write it the fuck down. You seem to forget. McNamara e e email of 2015 was the first. You are caught. You are under investigation. You were before I got to Oklahoma. I came to Oklahoma to get away from you. I was supposed to be done. I got you elected. That was my job. That was supposed to be the end of it. Write it down. Listen, we're sick and tired of saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. You get a gold star, Charles Perry, because you bought a judge and you think you won. What did you think I was going to do? I'm very upset about it. The cheating that you did. I don't think it's funny. And I don't think it's cute. If you wanted me to go to Zio's today, I didn't go, did I? That happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you, you, need, you need some people to sit down and explain to you how many times you get caught. Mike Neely didn't do shit. I said he was drugged. He didn't kill anybody. And five months later, the deposition said she's right. He was treated with Narcan, drugged. Not a mark on him. The arrest report backs me up. The first responders backed me up. Who is it you think you're fooling? Who is it that you think you are fooling? We want a list of people that stupid. We want the list of people of names of individuals that are that fucked hard that that you think you're fooling. Write them down. <clears throat> Have Mark Warman send it to me. The list of names of people that are that fucked hard that they don't get it right now. How criminal you really are. That you didn't win anything. You framed a cop. We're pissed about it. You got people going after you like a motherfucker when you pester me. When you take my money like you did this week out of a bank account you shouldn't know anything about. I didn't call the Duvals. You, everyone knows you want to wreck my car. You want to damage my car. You want to, you want to take my car. Because you have done it so many times. You can't say it's coincidence. Everyone knows you guys sit around and you have your little meeting. We got to try to do this and that and X, Y, Z to her and it not be linked to us. Keep doing that. I dare you. Look back. Are you guys too stupid to look back at how things have evolved over the past 10 years? When he pesters her. When he takes her money, things don't go well for us. We're seeing things happen we've never, ever, ever seen before. I have a feeling it's just flicking at us right now. We don't know who these people are. You know what? You had six years to send a guy into my strip club to just sit there and listen to me chat and hope to God I slipped up. And that's not what you did, and I even told you to do that. I think I sent you all an email or something. You know what? I'll speak slowly for you. You don't get anything out of me. Sending 20 guys in one time to be asshole to me or to say some weirdo thing to me or to be grabby to me or to hint at something and you think I'm going to fall for that. Like David, send Margo over to find out if the feds are investigating. So here comes Margo and I'll never suspect that's what she's doing even though she just went straight from David to me. I'm stupid like you. She did. She asked, are the feds involved? And I did not answer the question, David. I'm good at what I do. I didn't say, yes, the feds are involved or no, they're not, did I? What I said was, they're not, my charges weren't federal. Oh, good. I'm so happy. Floats back over to David and tells him what I said. David jumps out of his chair and run, prances, didn't run prances out of the room to go outside to tell everybody he got something. There was no yes and there was no no. There was completely non-answer answer. And that's why all these years into this, you have no fucking idea who's helping me. But you know I can't do that by myself. You pretty much starved me to death all the time. You've made it where I don't have any resources to do a damn thing to get that kind of information, do I? Zeos. So, we'll call the Duvals. And on and on, all that 50 zillion times you've tried to get my car. Let's get her back on that pole and on the schedule. Yep, you had to, listen, whoever said that, Hick, you little hillbilly. Um, I, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. Is this Calvin that said that? Whoever the hell Calvin is. Listen, you, you they don't tell me who it is I'm listening to. For... My protection. Mostly I can get on the stand and say I don't know who the fuck that was. I have no idea who that was that said that. But it's duly noted for the record. They got it. They know. 
So, you know, you had six years to sit down, and I said, don't send these guys in one at a time to ask me every dumbass question on the planet because I can see right through it. Not 30 seconds, I'm, I'll, answer, I'll answer your question all the live long day. Not like you want me to, though. I'm the regional manager of Dollar General. Right after I said, I'm, I'm pissed off at the do Dollar General by my house because there's nothing on the fucking shelves. Week later, here he comes. I'm the regional manager of Dollar General. I'm thinking, you're a fucking not, not, you're fucking not that. I said, oh, I enjoy shopping at all those stores. Wherever I am, you know, they're all over the place. Wherever I am, I'll go in there. It's a great store to shop at. Didn't answer your question, did I? I'm very good at what I do. Very good at it. And I'm flat telling you guys, send one or two guys in to buy, re become regular customers, buy, the help, buy VIPs, be nice to me, and just talk. Because you know how I get information out of you? I shut my mouth and just let you talk. And I get exactly what I want. And you got nothing. And it's been six years of that. You have no idea who's helping me. Today you wanted me to go to Zio's. We changed the plan. We changed the plan. I was with my ex-husband today. How'd you know that? How'd you know we were going to lunch at all? See, you better, you know, yeah, I don't think you, you're, just, you're not getting it. You are not getting it. Okay, so look at this, Mr. Perry. You you are, I'm going to speak slowly for you because you're clearly slow. Do you, do you need me to use sign language too? Will that help? Do I, you do, can I gesture? Will that help you keep up with everybody else and get it? You're caught. You don't get a date. You're never going to get a date. You get caught. You're irritating the hell out of me. You win. You win the civil case. I got it. You said it over and over and over. I got it the first time you said it. I want, I'm not stupid. You only have to say it one time for me. What difference does it make if you cheated and you're about to go to prison for that? Write it down. Your slow is just, I mean, I can't explain to you how much you're irritating me that I have to repeat myself. I don't like that. Listen, I walk in, a, when, I, when I would, the reason you don't have a fucking thing out of me is because when I walk in my work, immediately I can tell which ones are working for you and which ones aren't. I know in 30 seconds what they're after and how I'm going to get around it. One time, Perry, is all you have to say it. Now you're taunting. Now you're pissing me off. Because you didn't win. I won there. That's my case. The burden of proof was on me. Even for jurisdiction. You have made sure I wasn't in court in like four cases where you went in and lied. Nobody knows what the fuck you said. You don't have any evidence that there's a political vendetta because there's not one. You don't matter. You're not relevant. You never were. I got you elected. I had my whole life in that, you know, I walk in Grandma's house, I'm five years old. Guess who helps me tie my shoe? Judge McLemore. You don't have that kind of life. Guess who took me to the grocery when I needed food? The wife of the police chief. The son of the police chief. The daughter-in-law of the police chief. And a city councilman and a county treasurer and the GOP chairman. You don't have that kind of life. You have no idea what that's like, do you? So, I had all the connections I need. I didn't need you. You needed my connections. You have yet to figure that out. Because guess what my connections are did today? Told me not to go to Zio's. You better wake the fuck up. You're so slow. It is so fucking irritating. This right here. Everyone knows you wanted to take my car illegally. You said it all over Manford. It's not legal. But I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures that out. Guess what, Mr. Perry? Write it down. We figured it out. Because you said it all over Manford. You are a genius. Does your wife help you tie your shoe every day? How do you do it by yourself? Can you add and subtract still? How many times were you caught before you, you met me? And how many after? And you guys sit around every day, all day. How can we do this to her and that to her and it not be linked to us? And we're going, wow, you got to be shitting me with this. You're still doing this? After as, as many times as you've been caught, you're still doing this. You know, then you went into my radiator hose. Then you drained the oil out. Then you had a brick thrown at me. Then you've had a, tr you had, did you have a truck hit? Terry Wagner said you had a truck hit me on the freeway right after I got my new car. 
and then you had dust put in the back, and then we call Michael Neely, and six days later, he's accused of murder. While he's drugged and unconscious, and ends up with not a mark on him, has no memory of a fucking thing, he killed somebody. How the hell do you even do that? We're getting him out because you didn't. You could have got him out, and you would control how that happened, and maybe it wouldn't be linked to you. But since you didn't, we will. Because you wouldn't let me testify in that either. Guess what? That flagged off all kinds of people. Because that's just one more case. You don't let me in court because you got something to hide. When people do things... Uh, I, let me tell you something. Some of you guys that are cops, Tulsa Police, you listen to me. I, I know you guys listen to me because Mr. Perry claims he's being harassed. So when you get a guy in the interview room... And I've heard, I, I, I've heard this technique used a zillion times. You can watch the first 48. They use it there. They use it on fucking everything. Why? Well, I, maybe I should get a lawyer. Well, you don't have anything to hide, do you? You don't need a lawyer, do you? And then the guy gets, well, I guess not. And he starts talking, doesn't he? Right? Okay, you, want, so you don't let, let somebody in a courtroom? What do you got to hide? People can tell, Mr. Perry, you're stupid. You think everybody's as stupid as you. Guess what? They're not. They absolutely are not. Who is it you think you're fooling? I want a list of that names of those dumbasses that you're fooling. I bet you if I talk to them long enough, you're not fooling them at all. They might be too afraid to say that to your face. Because of dead Lucky and framed Mike and almost dead Cindy and false arrested Cindy. And you're trying to frame me for another another murder. Caitlin's didn't work, so now you what? you find another one? Are you going to plant a gun on me? Listen, you got to plant evidence on somebody. They didn't commit that crime, did they? Nope. Planting the evidence is the crime. Mr. Perry, you need to write that down. You're so slow. It's very irritating. Because I'm not. I can walk in that room at my work and in 30 seconds pick out your guys. And in 30 seconds of talking to them, figure out what, what they were there for and not give it to them. I'm the manager at Dollar General. Yeah, I shop at all of them because I know what you're here to do. You're here to get me to say, oh, yeah, the one by my house doesn't have anything on the shelves. I'd like to complain so you could figure out where I live. I knew exactly what you were up to. It's not that hard. Write it down. She's good at what she does. Write it down. Charles Perry's not getting a date. He just gets caught. Please write that down. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of it. Charles Perry didn't win. Charles Perry bought a judge. Charles Perry's about to go to jail for fraud and perjury. Write it down. Please write it down. And I didn't go to Zio's, and I didn't call the Duvalls because that's what you wanted me to do this week, and you got caught. You always do. McNamara email of 2015 was the first of that. Was it not? Mike was drugged. Yeah. And then five months later, sure as shit, I'm confirmed. I'm confirmed by the arresting officer, Detective Fife, because he said there's not a mark on this guy, except his right hand's a little red and swollen. Guess what? He had an IV in that he had an IV in that hand, so there's a needle sticking in it. That might have made it red and swollen. Detective Fife. I'm confirmed by the first responders. We had to give him narky and he was overdosed with opioids. You know, come on with this. You're not gonna get a date, Mr. Perry, ever. There's no fucking way I would go out with a bitch like you. You're not good enough. You're a weirdo. There's not this, you know, pestering people is not a date. It's not how you get someone to like you either. Try, trying to make them go broke, trying to take their car, trying to break uh, or ruin it or vandalize it or break it, killing a cop from, you know, you killed a cop. I come from a cop. What do you think that did to, to me? What do you think that did to my image of you in, in my head? Because if you're going to fall in love with somebody and go on a date with them, you have to have a positive image of them. Well, I don't have one of you. I think you're pathetic. I think you don't get anything. I think you're slow as fuck mentally. I think you get Alzheimer's because we say the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Guess what? We have a doctor working with us. She thinks you do too. There's too many times Mr. Perry has to be told the same thing. And he's not getting it. I think he's got Alzheimer's. He's got some sort of degenerative disease. There's no question. He needs testing. And he's not getting it. Because when you're tested, then you can get some medication. And Alzheimer's will kill you dead. It might not be as fast as a heart attack. I had a relative that died of Alzheimer's. So I can tell you from personal experience, Alzheimer's will kill you dead. You need medication. 
There's no question because we say the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And you don't remember. You wake up in a new world every five minutes. You got a problem. Serious problem. When you pester me, when you take my money, when you cause problems and loss, when you cause drama, when you devastate and ruin people's lives and kill people, you don't get a date. That is not love. You rule, You cause problems for people, uh, you know, such devastation. We don't get over it, Mr. Perry. You play with dolls like a little girl. That's not impressive to me. You sit around and watch TV all day. You're lazy. You know what impresses me? Hardworking men who try to help people. Don't sit around trying to hurt people and find a way that it's not linked to us. So you're not going to get a date, but you get caught every day, don't you? You got caught this week. You got caught today. I didn't go to Zio's, did I? Oh, shit. Shock and dismay. So what are you going to do? Do it all, You're going to do it all again tomorrow? Just like you did yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that? You, you might, I mean, you might as well. You're the gift that keeps on giving. You just run right back to that vomit every day. We're all gagging on it. Or like a dog chasing his tail. We're all laughing at you. One thing after another, after another, after another. And you're caught. You got caught again today. When you fuck with me, you don't get a date. You get caught. And it has been that way for years. And if you really wanted to know who these guys are helping me, you would have sent one or two guys in as regular customers to just sit and talk with me. And not make it weird. And not be mean to me. And not get grabby. And just sit there and chat and see if it just didn't come out by itself because that's what I do. So it's, it's amazing. You hit play, you, you, sit, you, you hit play and you just sit back and you shut up and you let, let people talk. You can get all kinds of information. <clears throat> people talk. They let stuff slip. If they slip. If they let it slip, I'll catch it. And you guys know that. You've talked about it. We've heard you. Don't let anything slip. She'll catch it. Did you guys let set, how'd she find out? Did you let something slip? We told you not to set, let something slip. Mr. Perry, you got to have a better and more interesting life than a guy who sits around doing what only what a two-year-old little girl can do to get my attention, to ride this ride. You want to ride this ride? You got to be smarter than a two-year-old little girl. You got to have a more interesting life than a two-year-old little girl. Sit around watching TV, playing with a dolly and a unicorn. You're not tall enough. Sorry. You're not interesting enough. Okay, do, this is the thing. Oh, this is the last time you had somebody hit my car. And then there was the time before that, right? Terry tells me you had a truck hit my car. I didn't I I didn't even So, over and over, it's duly noted for the record, you guys, you want my car. We've said it and we've said it over and over and over and over and over and over. The false arrest thing has been said over and over and over and over and over. The fraud, the perjury, six cases, Mr. Perry, over and over and over and over and over. Everyone else got it a long time ago. I'm sorry you're slow. Get some help. Go see a doctor. Ours thinks you got Alzheimer's or senile dementia or something because nobody should have to say the same thing. This many times, you wake up in a new fucking world every five minutes. I'm not going to go on a date with you. You are not my type. I don't do little girl. Sorry. I'm not a weirdo. And you are. And I've asked you to stop contacting me. Stop peeping. Stop hacking. Stop causing problems. Stop taking my money. Get your hand out of my wallet. Get your hand out of it. Stop trying to take my car. Stop going into court and lying. Stop going into court and lying. That includes concealing material facts that would change the outcome. Let me tell you, I came up with this story to kind of explain. Look, my guys can do that. Is your name on that, Charles? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You're the me, butt in. That's all you are. That's it. Just the me, butt in. And you cause fear and sadness. And everybody's kind of tired of feeling that. You too, David. Look, David, you're just the same. You're no different. You're caught for the first time in your life too. When you fuck with me, David, you get caught. When you fuck with me, David, you get caught. When you fuck with me, David, you get caught. Please write it down. 
please write it down because that's what has happened. Please be able to look back at history from the McMary email. You're the one that wanted to know who's helping me. You asked. I'm not going to answer you. I'm not. You had six years to get somebody to get it out of me by just, you know, I even told you straight up, you want to get people to talk. You want to get information. Here's how you do it. And you still didn't do it. I mean, I've tried to make, I've tried to, I mean, it's so easy. It's not even fair. And I, and I've even tried to go here, let me help you. Cause I'm bored right now. And I told you that David, I remember telling you, if you're going to do this, I'm bored. At least make it a challenge. It, it hadn't even been that. And I didn't come up here to fight it, fight with you, David. I don't know you. I don't know you from Adam. I don't care to. I didn't pick the fight. You did. I don't, I don't go after you. You go after me. So that was your choice. You chose that. Charles, the dolly, bitch, come on. Get a life. Is that getting you a date, your doll and your unicorn? Getting you a date? I mean, what is it you want? Do you want a date or do you want to get caught? You've done you've done this every day for years, almost a dec, almost half. Let's see, six, seven years now. L little over half a decade, every fucking day, and you get the same results every fucking day. You piss us all off. My guys go at you, and they get more and more and more and more and more. I'll give you a gold star for your civil win. And that's all you're going to get because it wasn't legit. You were right. It's not legit. But I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures that out. Right? Isn't that what you said all over Manford? Yep. Okay. Fine. You know, do what you do. You guys are something. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You got the harassment email. You're not being harassed. You're provoking. You're provoking and provoking and provoking and provoking and provoking. So don't sit there and act like you're a victim. You're not a victim. You're hurting people. And you're hurting them in a way we won't get over. We will not get over. My goal, Mr. Perry, write this down, is to kick your crime in the ass. Harder than anybody you know. And I have. Haven't I? You don't know anybody that's done what I can do. Do you? Is your doll helping you? I don't think it is. I think your doll's pissing everybody off. So, this is uh, Charles, your doll, and your unicorn. Are they helping you get a date? Maybe that's not really what you want. Is it? I don't know. So then, uh, we got this. These emails. Uh, yeah, that's the one. I did go to lunch. There was a discussion about Zeo's. And then there was a plan change for a reason. Okay. And uh, you're not calling my ex-husband, are you? That's who I was at lunch with. And that is none of your business. That's a family relationship. It has nothing to do with you, right? You're not calling my family, are you? Didn't you deny you're doing any, th any such thing? You know, okay, we'll keep that in mind. And then there's this. You need to keep that in mind. Uh, where, this first one, when it says he's cruel to her in prayers, her then wants a date. Um, I, I, that's not supposed to say prayers. Charles typed that in there. Remember I said he types right over my typing? I didn't even catch it. That's, that happens a lot. I'll send an email out and then later, for whatever reason, I reread it. And he's typed all kinds of words that don't make any sense. I usually know when he's up to something because he'll type that in, prayers or hugs or kisses, when he's, when he's fucking with, about to fuck with me something terrible. Like, what, is that your pre-apology for your, you know, you know you're an asshole, you know you're about to piss me off, and you're going to do it anyway? And you're just, oh, prayers, that'll fix it. Oh, I'll type hugs and kisses in her phone, that'll fix it. I said get out of my phone, didn't I? Yep. What are you doing in Oklahoma more than you're in Lubbock? Don't you live in Lubbock? Where is it that you actually live? I think that's in question right now. Look at this. I mean... I have compelling information about Justice Scalia's death. I do know this. The procedure followed, post-mortem procedure, that uh, the Rangers followed was not what, how things would have been done if he had died in D.C. He didn't die in D.C. He died in West Texas right when you were planning the harassment de claim, that fraud. Yep, and you're caught. You know, you had six years to have somebody come in and just chat with me and see if I didn't let something slip. And I haven't told you that. Get two or three guys in as my regular customers. They treat me like a princess because you get more bees with honey. 
and just chat and see what comes out. Don't come in. Don't go in there and go at me with all these weird questions. Where do you live? What's your age? What's your date of birth? What's your social security number? Yeah. What's your address? What car do you drive? You guys did that all the fucking time, and I'd be like, "Wow, wow." No, I'm not gonna get a lap dance from you. Okay, bye. That's not how you get information. Thank God you're that stupid. You had six years. And now you want me back out. Get, we got to get her back on that pole. On a schedule. Why? Can't, can't, you're going to fuck up some Go. I'm going to go out there and you're going to do something else I can use against you in court? Why is that why you want me out there? What you know? What what planet do you people live on? Give me the list of names of people that are stupid enough to believe you at this point. I want those names. Which people do I need to know are as fucked hard as you that you think you're fooling? I mean, come on with this. Come on with this. No, I didn't go to Zio's. No, I didn't call the Devals. Once again, I didn't. No, I didn't close the account. David that you dug into so now what there's not going to be a date and there's not a cover up you don't get a date you got caught Charles pesters me takes y'all try to cause some problem what happens is you get caught there is no date there's never going to be a date I don't find Mr. Perry to be some big uh, hug and sexy because he can't do anything more than a two year old little girl can do and that's not really my thing that's not really my thing. Now, you can cease and desist, or it'll get worse for you. Same way it would for a guy who keeps driving drunk, and he won't stop doing that. You know, he, you know, you drive drunk, you're going to get pulled over. You drive drunk again, you're going to get pulled over again. You drive drunk again, you're going to get pulled over again. It doesn't get better. It gets worse. That's just common sense. That's not a threat. That's like, you know, don't speed because you're going to get a ticket. And the more you do it, the more tickets you're going to get. You want to get up tomorrow morning and do the same thing again, don't complain when you get caught. Don't complain when everybody's quoting you. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I know. You see what we can do. But dead lucky framed Mike, that's one of the reasons why it's a need to know. And you've proven it's not a good idea if you know shit. Because you like hurting people. And in a way, they'll never, ever, ever get over. And you will never, ever, ever get a date, Mr. Perry. You piss me off when you contact me, when you cause problems, when you cause drama, and when you cause loss. And my guys go at you harder, and then we know it's not a good idea to eat at Zio's today. Don't call the Duvals. Okay, we write it down. We've, we've said this, and said it, and said it, and said it, over and over and over and over and over and over. And it's just getting old to have to repeat the same thing. Again and again and again and again. Mr. Perry, they make a pill. You need to get one. This is like, uh, this is old. It's getting old. Same old thing every day. Same old thing every day. So, you know, what are we going to do it all again tomorrow? Don't complain when you just get caught.